Hello YouTube and welcome to another Apple iPad mini video here. This time we are talking about the display resolution. It's the same resolution as on the iPad 1 and iPad 2 so we got a non-retina display here. For comparison we got an iPad 3rd generation with a retina display and uh, let me tell you something about this. I'm now using the iPad mini for around six hours straight, doing a lot of videos, doing a lot of testing with it. And um, I can live with this uh, display and the resolution. I have an iPhone 4, a 5, I've got iPads with retina display, I'm used to retina display, and still, because of the form factor and of its really really light weight here um i i am willing to to <laughs> be be a little bit um forgiving about this non retina display but let me show you some examples here we got the amazon kindle app here we are in the same book um and reading works fine no problems here of course the writing and the letters is sharper on the retina display but still uh, because the iPad mini is that light, I can just easily hold it a little bit far away than I'm used to with a tablet. No problems here and this will compensate this non-retina factor. Same thing on, on iBooks. Just to show you guys. And there we go, both are on the same page. And still reading is fine but you can definitely tell that it is a non-retina display uh, next thing really disappointing is the twitter app on the ipad retina it looks great but uh, on the ipad mini i don't know what it is but the letters and the font they don't really look that nice same thing on on websites if let's for example take the apple homepage. Um, the heading here, no problem. This looks really, really nice on both devices. But if there's smaller, smaller sentence, smaller letters, sm a smaller font, then you get really into trouble. This does not look that nice. I'm trying to zoom a little bit more in the, so that you can see what I mean. And um, let's go back. But still, no. I'm I'm willing to take this non-retina thing because you can just zoom in, just zoom in, and it will compensate. It will it it gets better if you zoom in. Um, what about all the native apps like like normal app like GarageBand here, uh, where Apple designs all the nice nice things? Uh, Apple is definitely working on this. Uh, the keyboards on this piano look, uh, the keys really looks nice. It's, the whole app looks great. You won't, I, I think you won't recognize that it's a, a non-retina display here. And all the other Apple apps work the same. One difference is the uh, Pages app here. I've loaded a pre, pre-installed text and you can tell, you can definitely tell the difference here between retina and non-retina but still it's it's okay the, the it's, it looks better than on an ipad 2 because of the pixel density and it got the same pixel density as an as an I, uh, iphone normal iphone 3d and 3gs uh, yes i know it doesn't sound great but you have to think about that you're holding a tablet not that far on your nose as a smartphone you will hold it far away this will compensate and the screen and the letters will look better so the screen does overall look definitely better than an ipad 2 screen but way not that clear as an as an uh, retina screen let's start a game so here we are in the new need for speed app uh, this looks really, really great. Um, it's it's n it's not looking really fantastic like Retina style, but it's definitely uh, great to 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 enjoy. Um, 
Let's look a little bit closer. Maybe you can see some pixels and not such such great graphics. But for normal gaming, this is this is a really still really great graphics on a tablet. So overall, I'm still really satisfied with the screen and the resolution and how it's how it's working. Um, I would definitely buy it again, and I'm willing to do uh, take the step down from Retina just for the iPad Mini. This is my opinion. It's, I know it's hard to explain over over this video, um, but uh, I hope I could help you guys a little bit. Thanks for watching and bye.